There's a track. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Nick from 50 Campfires. I am Clint from 50 Campfires. What are you jamming? Phil Collins, bro. You know that I love Phil Collins. That's why I did this to you. Genesis guy? Do you like him when he's Genesis? Yeah, you know. Mm, pretty good, pretty good. I Camera think... Jeff? Oh, yeah, I love Phil. <laughs> Phil Collins has a voice for radio and a face for print. And denim, <laughs> denim jeans and a t-shirt for print. Yeah. All right, today we're going to be getting our grub on. Why don't you tell the folks at home what we got shaking here? Well, I've been working on getting real swole. And what, I, what everyone keeps telling me is that protein makes me swole. You know, and uh, people around the office have been noticing it. I can How tell you that. I am? Yeah, yeah. They're like, whoa, put Cameron away the gun show. Are like, you think he's dipping into the illegal stuff there a little bit? <laughs> I've been drinking protein powder. You're making a little too no, fast. No, no, no. What we're talking about today is portable snacks. They give you a blast of protein because even though I'm making fun of myself, we all know that protein's good for you, right? That's like half of the show is us making fun of ourselves. Oh, though. that's true, huh? How else will we get through it? Yeah, I don't know. So we've got three things that I, two, two protein snacks. Doreen says, good afternoon. It, hey, What's Doreen. What's up, Doreen? It's fantastic. Hello. I wish we could see you, but you can see us. And that text got to be coming, right? Somehow. Where we can look at Doreen and be like, Doreen. And she's like just waving to us live and hanging Your out. Your hair looks That'd great. <laughs> <laughs> Spent know. a little extra time on the hair today, Kevin Doreen. agrees that protein is good. So we've got two things. We've got uh, King Oscar sardines. And mm. so uh, Outdoor Bill is a big fan of sardines. Yeah. You and I, we've never really eaten them. Not a, I haven't spent a whole lot of time And I had them. no idea that they came in this amount of flavors. Right. So I brought you a bunch of flavors. I've got sardines in hot jalapeno there? peppers. Okay. Mediterranean style with red bell pepper, black olives, and garlic. Ooh, I have extra virgin yeah. olive oil and cracked pepper. And is it tapatio? Tapatio. I'm, that sauce. is one of my favorite hot sauces. Really? Yes, because you can use a ton of it. It's not too hot. Pretty good flavor. The we reason all, I, I like doing the show with you is because I learned so much about you. <laughs> Same, buddy. <laughs> I always, uh, Lisa and I always have top of tea on the fridge. Yeah. Always. And then we've also got these Planters P3 snacks. Huge fan of these. Which is either portable protein pack or protein, protein, protein. 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 I want it to be right. the last thing. So do I. But I think it does mean portable protein pack. Maybe Although their because website that's what is it says protein, right protein, on the protein. Thing. Protein, protein, protein. Right. Com. 13 grams of protein. And then just as a little snack, because I think that all that protein might put you over the edge, you might want to fight me in some sort of a cage match. This is pure craziness that's happening here in this so can. So we, we did some work I'm, I'm with fascinated. Top Ramen. The, earlier this year, we made a bunch of yeah, ramen, Top Ramen recipes. Super fun. And they sent us, the, I think this is pretty cool. It's interesting because the, the circle comes full circle. Uh, Cameraman Jeff has been talking about Dollar General stores in every town we drive through when we're on our trips. Cause every they're, town. Because they're everywhere. There's, it's the mo it was the most common store on the whole trip, right? Oh, Tried sure. it, not by a long shot. Well, once you get into kind of rural America, like Dollar General. So they sent us this top ramen chicken flavored Pringles available only at Dollar General. So we're going to have to look for those when we're out on the road next week. Nice. All right, so I would love to hear from you guys if you like sardines, if you don't like sardines, if you've never had them, because you're about to watch two sardine, sardine virgins. Well, I'll, let, I'll, 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 I'll let that slide, but let's move quickly well, past let's it. Let's be serious, no? <laughs> hey, I, I um, made an appearance in the $2 challenge. Oh, we did eat sardines. Oh, that's right. You had, um, what was the flavor? It oh, was... Jennifer does not like sardines. Jennifer, I'm kind of on the fence, so you're probably going to see a couple uh, squirms on the face. So I'm thinking we should start with sardines. Carrie loves sardines. When can I try these? These are your dessert, bro. A chicken ramen dessert. I'm Correct. into it. Top ramen so, dessert. All over it. And you're also you're talking about uh, maybe a little bit of sandwich action. I was going to make a sandwich out of the Pringles and the sardines. Like a Just sardine I love top ramen chicken sandwich. Gordon loves sardines. So I wanted to try. I'm Gordon, gonna start. Why? I want to know why. I want to start with these. I want to know what you love about sardines them, in extra virgin my olive man, oil Gordy. with hot jalapeno peppers. This is the one that's really got my attention. Okay, let's let's dig right in there, right out of the so gates. So I've never opened a package like this. I don't know what's inside. It's a little peel back. Oh, there we go. It's a tin. You know. Uh, Do they still have the old school ones that you like crank oh, the with thing the key? all the way back, or is Actually, that just from Tom and Jerry cartoons? I remember that as a child. <laughs> So one of the two, it's outdoor Bill will chime in and be so like. So Gordon says the reason he likes oh! sardines is because they're tasty. Can I, okay, 
because when it gets right towards the end, that's going to come off always. And yeah, I don't want it to snap, and then I got jalapeno can I, can I show oil you this camera, Jeff? everywhere. Oh, definitely. Get, right, up, get so up, get up, get up, get up, get up. This is sardines that looks awesome, in actually. hot jalapeno peppers. That looks Jennifer pretty good. Does not want you to yak. Don't yak. But Just Jennifer, still yak with us. Jennifer, don't pretend like it wouldn't be entertaining if I yacked all over this table. <laughs> I don't want to see it. Don't you think so? Ugh. Kayak Jan is out here too, though. She'd be into it. <laughs> no, Bill Miller says he can't find those cute cans. The little key yeah. twist anymore? Oh. Maybe that's just in Tom and Jerry cartoons. So Great, because it's his bed. I remember that. <laughs> this is made by King, a company called King Oscar. If you are just joining us, this is The Daily Outdoor, and we are uh, plowing through some protein trail food. So can I give you a protein fact about sardines? Look at you already spilling. Gosh, Nick. Can't take you anywhere. There is 23 grams of protein okay. in this can. Okay. 46% of your daily daily value. Hmm. It's pretty good. It tastes about how I imagined it to taste. About right. Except not as it tastes good. Yeah. Pretty spicy. It is spicy. But I kind of want to compare it to another sardine. You get to pick the next one. That's easy. Jumping with my tapatio. Tapatio. So we're going for the spicy route today. I think spice goes well with sardines. After a bill, you're going to have five cans of sardines to eat after. That's a little bit of heat going Ooh. down the trachea there. Ooh. This That's is the part uh, of the show where we lose our voice. That's taking a minute. That's starting to, starting to heat up. Ooh, but it's good. I thought I was out of the woods for a second there, and I turned over to you, and I realized I have chimney throat. <laughs> I nope, love it. Still in the woods. Oh. Nope. Still well into the woods. Both physically and mentally. Mm. All right. So these are just tapatio hot sauce. Yeah. That looks good. Which I love. Oh yeah. 16 grams of protein per serving. That's a. That's a. That's a weird heat. I gotta say, like it's. I don't know if I've had, like fishy heat. B Bill My number was wrong. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> So there's. Oh! So I was wrong with my number. This is 16 grams of protein. And the Ta serving size is one can. So here we got some tapatio. Hot sauce. Hot sauce sardines. Nice. I'm excited. Oh, yeah. This is going to be my jam. <sighs> I feel like I'm going to start buying these. <laughs> so you don't take the lid all the way off. Right? I is don't. Is that a technique? Uh, that's how I prefer to eat these. Got it. I would be curious to hear. Outdoor build, you take the lid all the way off. What's your What's your deal? That's what I want. Why do you like that? Hey, that way you can cut your hand easier. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh yeah, all day. Is that good? Mm-hmm. Tapatio, King Oscar sardines. That's where it's at. That's gonna be the best one. <laughs> the little tail. I don't know. I get it. Want to know something else that's crazy about these? Mm-hmm. These cans are hand packed. Really? There's a person that puts the fish in this can. That's, that's, what, what do you think about that? More heat than the other one. Oh, yeah. By a long shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We need some Ritz crackers. Yeah, way to, way to think this out. I do have something that's almost as good, and that is a P3 protein. Yeah, get some peanuts pack. out of there. So we've what got. What person, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to digest this a little more in my Ooh. mind. Who brings five cans of sardines? To a party and no crackers. So Bill says to dip the crackers in the oil after the fish is gone. Ah. Uh, that seems like the way yeah. to do it. So, uh, do you say this is a party? I'm not. This is. I've Isn't been that this, every daily outdoor? I've been to some pretty weird parties. This is nothing like any party I've ever What's been to. What's the weirdest party you've been to? Let's hear that story. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ooh. <laughs> Take me. I don't know if I'm going to continue with the show after you. Is that? Is that all? Brought me to that, that dark that, place in my head. <laughs> <laughs> That's an after the show discussion. All right, so I've got three different I actually would, P3 I would, snacks. These are good. I've got all, right. all of them okay. have honey roasted peanuts. Oh, no, this one has chipotle peanuts. All three yeah. of them have beef jerky. I don't want to cool down with chipotle Sweet peanuts spicy, after eating Tapatio original, fish. original, and ma oh, maple glazed ham jerky. That's the one I want. And then they've got sunflower seeds. I'm going 13 into here. grams of protein. I'm going to the peanut side. Oh, tapatio is good. It's hot. It's hot. It's really hot. It's hotter than I thought it was going to be. Well, that's all right. People like to watch us squirm, I think. 
Oh, so here, I'm going to post a link. Woo. Protein, protein, protein.com. What did Barbzilla say? Death, poop, and skulls, and fire. Ah, fire, fire emojis. Yeah. Yeah. She might have meant something different. I'm just reading into her emoji language. Death. Poop and fire. Yeah. Well, because she knows <laughs> you experience the heat twice. All right. So this is honey roasted peanuts. Mm-hmm. Bugs are getting kind of bad out here. Okay. I like honey roasted peanuts. Chipotle peanuts are really good. Oh, let me try some of those. They're not cooling my mouth down from the Tapatio sardines to the Chipotle peanuts. That is a problem. But pretty good. Pretty good. If you're just joining, we're eating, we're plowing through some protein packed trail food. Getting swole. None of which requires any refrigeration, which is pretty awesome. Oh, that is the other good point. You can just throw them in your pack. There are a lot of backpackers that are pretty hardcore well, about, those are good. about sardines. I like those Chipotle uh, peanuts. But the idea of having a shelf stable snack. Yeah, and it, like, it, you know, yeah, it's a pretty pure, good form of protein fish, obviously. All right, so this is the. Maple glazed ham jerky. Do you have some of that? I want to. Huh. The other thing nice about the sardines is that you're getting, if you're hiking all day, you get that a big blast of omega-3s for your joints before you go to bed. Hey, what time do you want to get up tomorrow? Oh, why are you going to bring that up? So Clint and I are flying out in the morning with Kayak Jana to Salt Lake City for the outdoor retailer show. We've got a big live show tomorrow evening. Jana, don't you agree? It doesn't even, it doesn't even count as getting up in the morning. I feel like I'm just... <laughs> Going to bed late. Yep. Because if I got to be to be ready to roll at Nick's at 3:30, I got to get up at three or quarter to three. <laughs> That's just a late party. <laughs> Two weird parties that were part of this one and the one tomorrow morning. That's pretty mapley. Mm-hmm. Oh, so that's good to get the fish taste out. Bill claims that a lot of times he'll find sardines in his pack and have no idea how long they've been there. Eats them anyways. Ain't dead yet. <laughs> Glad they're. That's in a his... Bill Miller thing to say. Uh -huh. Ain't dead his... yet. Glad they're in his pack and not his pants. <laughs> they go through the laundry. Oh god, that'd be awful. So oh, that's just regular. I like this little party size pack. That's just regular as well. Oh, this is Mediterranean. I'm curious about this one here. This is a new flavor, but the box looks like it's five five years old. Okay. Barbzilla wants to see a sardine on a Pringle. Okay. The first we're gonna try, skinless and bonus sardine Spanish style. Okay. How do you feel about that? I'm into it. Chili peppers and olive oil. I'm curious about it. This is an unopened package of limited edition Pringles. And you know how much I love limited edition things? Once you open this package, it loses all of its value. See, I'm kinda into the skinless boneless <laughs> vibe here. So don't open it just yet. Okay. It's still worth thousands of dollars. Maybe we should auction it off. All right, so these are skinless, boneless, boneless. Skinless, bonus, boneless, and Spanish style. Oh, Spanish. Mm -hmm. Good. Best one so far. Really? Oh yeah. You keep saying that. Oh, they're skinless, boneless. It's like it just tastes like meat. It's That's protein. Delicious. It's protein. I'm gonna put that on a sandwich or some mayo. It's fantastic. It tastes like tuna. Yeah, it's good. That's why you like it. Yeah. This tastes like what you walk it's around less the office. This this tastes like your office smells. It's true that I like to eat tuna and chicken out of the can at work as a, as a snack. So we've been That's eating good. King Oscar sardines, delicious Norwegian, high protein, portable, no refrigeration snack. And if you're watching, I would love to hear what your favorite trail snack is. That's what I want to know. Tell me that. What your favorite trail snack is? Yeah, what's your favorite trail snack? Hmm. I'd love to know. We travel with a camera, a photographer whose favorite trail snack is gummy worms. <laughs> Kali Fly. Cameraman Jeff, his favorite trail snack is mm. peanut M and M's. Peanut M and M's. Pretty big fan. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and Diet Coke. Cody, Cody <laughs> loves Quest Coke Zero. bars. Coke Zero, huge difference. Quest bars. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's what Cody likes. Go oh, Quest bars. Yeah. I don't know what that is. All right. Let's get into this. Are you I'm ready? I'm really curious about this. All right, so. Limited edition. As you can see, it's sealed. Limited edition. Delicious. Top ramen chicken flavored Pringles. Correct. Now, we're all very familiar with what top ramen chicken Knock tastes like. Knock it off, like. Bill. Oh, I was going to ask you, who, who did like it? Neither one of you. No. Who likes pickled quail eggs? 
Not me at all. Not me either. No. Nobody. If anyone's curious what that means, you can watch a video on our YouTube channel of Nick and I eating weird gas station food. And we got them directly from the source, just about. Yeah. They couldn't yeah. have been any fresher. Caught it out of the quail. All right, let me see if I can get Threw the sound some of vinegar. This. The Pringles popping. Ready? Go for it. Oh. Mm. All right, so they were shipped to us, so unfortunately the top layer here is in a little bit of disarray. A that... true connoisseur would smell first when you get in there. Do you know how to sniff properly with your mouth open so yeah. that your tail? Yeah. Oh, I, I get notes of <laughs> top, <laughs> top ramen chicken. Yeah. It smells a lot like top ramen. It sure does. All right, we're going to dig in. These are only available... What did I say? Dollar, Dollar General. Dollar General. Dollar General. And if you don't have a Dollar General five miles or less from you, you probably don't live in the United States. <laughs> that is a really <laughs> bold claim. I'm <laughs> telling you. Maybe the boldest claim you've ever made. Oh. Dude, it tastes just like Top Ramen. To a T. 100% Top Ramen chicken. Wow. Wow. Can you put a sardine on them? Yeah, probably. The question is, which sardine are you going to put on? I like the boneless, skinless. These are delicious. Oh. Huh? It's like a weird little lunch date we're having right now. Put from a party. Hey, let's if go. If I was walking through the woods. It's like two And dudes. I randomly came across two bros sitting in the woods eating top ramen Pringles. And sardines. And five different flavors of sardines. Hey, Grandpa Terry. Glad you made it. That's a weird party. Mm -hmm. Grandpa Terry, if there's a Dollar General next to you, they are, Pringles just started doing a limited edition flavor, top ramen chicken, Pringles. Mm -hmm. Only available at Dollar General, the massively successful Dollar General. Cameraman, Remember we looked it up, 1.3 billion a year. Cameraman Jeff wanted to buy stock in it. Missed the boat on that one, bro. Uh oh, your mom just chimed in. What did Dana have to say? She says, I thought I raised you not to eat sardines. Gross. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Sorry, Mom. How was, you thought, how was the Spanish combo you did here? Um, I would say that if you had the option in your life of trying that, not to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I like them individually, together. Then I'm going. That's like a weird, like, um, I'm going top of Tio. Give us a quick recap. On what, what you like from each one. All right, so we had Give multiple varieties break. of canned sardines. These are the King Oscar <coughs> sardines. We f we started with the sardines in jalapeno, spicy jalapenos. We thought they were good and spicy. We moved on to the Tapatio, Tapatio infused sardines. Yeah. <coughs> and we just had very the, spicy. We just had the Spanish skinless, boneless. Sardines. Skinless and boneless sardines, Spanish style. And that, that Grandpa Terry does have a uh, Dollar General by him. Perfect. Probably should try these limited edition Pringles, my man. So Clint and I are heading off to Utah tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. But what I want everyone watching to do right now is not eat sardines, unless you've got some right there and they're convenient for you, is to <laughs> click the link that I'm about to post right now to enter Amp Your Camp for this week. We're giving away $1,000 worth of camping gear. It is awesome. Oh, we've got, we've got Outdoor Bill. He's found us. Who what? Outdoor Bill's coming. All right. Enter to win $1,000 worth of camping gear, including the man can and the buff yeah. and the Zippo products and uh, the, the Beeler, Beeler Flex. Uh, what are those Straps. called? Straps. Absolutely. We still have $3,000 worth of Amp Your Camp gear to give away. Today is Monday. Tomorrow, tomorrow is the last day of week eight, correct? Yeah. Camera yeah. Jeff? Yeah. And then we have two more weeks still to go. So it's still to three chances. Grandpa Terry, I want you to win, man. Mm -hmm. I'd love to see that happen. So yeah. make sure you hop on there. Enter. What was your favorite here today? What do you think? Mm -hmm. I like the Tapatio and the skinless boneless. Tapatio is a good time. Mm -hmm. And then <clears throat> next two nights, Make sure you guys keep your eyes peeled because the next two nights are going to be great. We have Kenji who's going to be talking about uh, public land access tomorrow night. And then Wednesday, 
is the Super Show! Super Show! With seven guests doing five minute segments. Yep. We're bringing very, some, very interesting. Everything from cool products to guys that have cool life experiences. Yeah, I'm to super people that, that are trying to change the world. Yep. Really. And also just keep an eye on um, both the Instagram page as well as the Facebook page because we're going to be walking around the outdoor retailer show all week. Which you don't have to care what it is, but it's the largest trade show for outdoor gear. Yeah. And we go there and we get previews of what's coming next year or this year and meet up with friends and people and do that kind of thing. Yep. So there'll be a lot of, fo- a lot of photos coming through. Cody thinks we need sriracha on sardines. Ooh, I think that's a good idea, Cody. Yeah, we'll call the people we know and see if we can make that happen. You'll see lots of gear over the next week, some that you can get now, some that's not going to be available till like 2018. But still, um, it's our job to kind of give you a good idea of what's coming down the pipe. So it's going to be a fun week at Outdoor Retailer. And so we're going to be showing you that, a preview of some of that stuff on Wednesday night. We're going to be hanging out with Kenji and cooking with Camp Chef tomorrow night. Oh. It's going to be an early morning, but it's totally going to be worthwhile tomorrow night. Into it. So thank you for joining us. We'll be back tomorrow. You guys have a great night.